Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this episode, we're going to learn how to create a custom blade layout that you can use throughout your application. Now we've got a standard Jetstream installation here with, if we go to app view, you will see we've got two components right there. We've got an app layout class component and a guest layout class component. Now think of the app layout as your dashboard and a guest layout for your views for the front end. Okay, so let's quickly create our own one. Now, in order to create one, we do PHP artisan make component. And we're going to call this one base layout. Okay. Or you can call it default layout, whatever you want it to do. I'm just going to create base layout. Okay. So it created the class for us right there. So this one right here. Now, as you can see, it will create a view automatically if you're following the series. So we go to resources, views, components. You will see we got the default view right there. Now I'm going to delete that one because we're not going to need it. All right. So we're going to create under the views layout. We're going to create a new file and we're going to call this one base.blade.php. Okay, then inside our class, we need to reference that layout. So, okay, let's go to layouts folder and inside that, we're just going to go to the base. Okay, so in our base layout, we're just going to add a doc type so that we can add the default HTML for our layout right there. Now, the thing is, since we already have partials, so I'm just going to cut that out and actually add the partials like this partials for the head. You see, this is where it becomes handy so that you can, instead of having to write multiple things, we can actually reference it in one place and use it throughout our application. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add the footer as well. Awesome stuff. And the navigation. Right, now the next thing you guys need to remember if you're following the series, whatever is between the two blade tags so let's quickly go to our resources views pages home.index right here All right so i've have an opening base layout tag and a closing layout tag but it's ever between these two tags remember is going to be available for in our slot so let's just quickly create the main and let's add the slot variable right here Okay, so this slot keyword, so whatever is between these two will be passed to the slot right here. Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to check and create headers. Okay, so we're going to do is set, all right, and we're going to create a header. All right, so in here, so what we can do now is we can add an X slot like this. Okay, so if you've been following the series, we're going to call this one name header like that. We can do the H2 and just push it in there. Like this. All right. So now we can actually render our header in here as well. Okay. So that's how we can create a custom layout. And obviously, if you have a template, you can do the same thing quite easily. All right, so I know this is a little bit of a short video, so I don't want to explain too much. And yes, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section, and I'll gladly assist you guys with that. All right, so we're going to do a couple of practical things still going forward in this series. So please look out for that, and see you in the next one. Adios.